Hey, it's Gale, guys. Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we're back with another auto rifle sort of review to do. This time, though, it is going to be new gear. I know I've been doing a lot of sunset gear and everything like that, but today is going to be, well, new ish gear. It's sunset gear that actually has come back, obviously, with this season or a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, we got a lot of moon uh, weapons back and some Dreaming City weapons, but they were actually bugged when they first dropped the Dreaming City weapons. So you couldn't get either the Twilight Oat or the Tiger Spite. So now you can actually get Tiger Spite or the Twilight Oat, but you couldn't get them if you already had them before which was just like for me obviously i just couldn't get them but last week after tuesday reset it was fixed that like bug that was ever like stopping them from dropping and now you can actually obtain these if you had them before but it is a grind i mean it is pretty orangey i like i mean i did it last week and i was not doing the blind well forever to get a good roll of this whatever and this is what it's gonna look like this is honestly dreaming city weapons have always looked pretty decent especially when you get the shaders on them too shaders kind of actually take to them pretty well it's just you have to find the right ones like that's a pretty nice shader but that's just carnia yeah, that's freaking nice and everything the question is, though, do we go old school with the old oh, Kata Selected? I think we might do it, boys. I think we do. We're going old school, boys. Kata Selected. Here we go. We're going to get back on that freaking, I don't know, addiction to Kata Selected. But the Tiger Spider itself, as I said, it is an auto rifle from the Dreaming City. And when it comes to rolls and everything, I have a decent ish roll. So I've got the Corkscrew Rifling, so increased range stability, increased handling speed, or could go for the Flu to Barrel for a bit of extra handling. I've got Ricochet Range, which increased stability, slight increased range, or got Flared Magwell, which obviously increased the reload. I got Ambitious Assassin, overflows the magazine base and number of rapid kills before reloading and last but not least we got the trait range finder aiming this weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification so basically a lot more range to the weapon with a range master work as well which i'll level up a little bit not to the max you will see on the screen now all the other types of rows you can get on the weapon honestly rose wise it has some pretty decent ones i will say disclaimer though for some people who used to love this this used to have kill clip it doesn't got it anymore this has hit the same sort of i don't know roadblock or whatever you want to call it same sort of potholes that a lot of the new weapons that have come back sunset weapons have come back reprise with new roles a lot of them are missing that kill clip or that really really sweet perk that made it insane back in the day tiger spite was one when you had kill clip on it you could absolutely wreck it with high caddy rounds it used to be insane but now you can't get the kill clip but instead you can get either frenzy or swashbuckler which is i don't know i think it's all right ish but honestly yeah kill clip on these auto rifles was just dope i don't know why bungie did it so without further ado let's go in with the tiger spite into some pvp Alrighty, so we're gonna be on fragment with the tiger spine. This is what it's gonna look like. I mean, Dreaming City weapons, they all look freaking sick. There's so many weapons that have been sunset. At least this one came back, but so many weapons that used to look so freaking nice and sweet and everything that have just gone from the game. And this has come back at least. So you have another sweet looking uh, 450. No, I didn't see anyone there. But you got a nice looking uh, 450 RPM auto. Now, this won't be an absolute. I wouldn't say like a powerhouse, and I do not have the freaking throwing AD thing on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call that breaking. There's the stray. Look at that damage. So, yeah, it's not going to be the fastest like rate of fire or anything like that, but it will do some GC damage. It is uh, precision frames and stuff too. So, intrinsically, what the? <laughs> what was he doing? Oh, we're going to get destroyed by an ace of momentum, but it doesn't, intri it doesn't intrinsically have, just have really good accuracy and stuff like that. So, you can just delete a range, especially with the rangefinder. And that's what I like about the rangefinder roll now, because this didn't actually use to roll, I don't think. But the rangefinder roll means I can actually go really, really far with a 450, which goes really well for it. And with the ambitious assassin, of course, I do get the extra little bullets. Now, what the? What, guys, they're everywhere. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you for that free kill. I did nothing. We just tickle booties, boys. We just tickle the booty. Oh, you get some kills. I, I always say, it, guys, you want to get high scoring games. Just tickle some booty. I will admit, though, that uh, this Tiger Spide, it actually feels nice, too. It is one of these auto rifles that has a nice, like, I don't know, bouncer, I don't know, squishy feel to it. Is that, how, like, what you want to describe it as? And, oh, no, died, thank you. Oh, I'm so freaking dead. Don't worry, boys, we got the heels on thick. But it has a real squishy feel. It's like you're, I don't know, punching. Oh, my God. It's like you're punching a, 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 pu a pillow or something the whole time, though. It's, it's really weird. It's really energy-feeling weapon. And the reason I mentioned that is because this is kinetic. This ain't no energy weapon. So it's a really weird one in that sense. But it feels nice. It honestly does. 450 RPM 2, which is probably not the meta auto rifle now. But it still feels a juicy. I would admit, though, yeah. Oh, my God. We just absolutely wrecked him. But, yeah, I will admit, when it comes to rolls and stuff, it did kind of get screwed over. Like, if I kill clip there, that dude gets freaking annihilated. And it did kind of get screwed that it doesn't roll with the old kill clip rolls anymore. Because if it did, it would honestly be such a freaking machine. Now, if this guy actually highlights my ass, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, can we heal, heal, heal? Oh, oh, oh. He's one shot, boys. Thank you. And I am standing in nades or something. I don't know. Guys, where the... Are we spawn companies? I do not know. I'm just getting hit by freaking everything now. This guy's going to get hit. This guy's going to get hit. And there's a shotgun up my ass. Terminator, get him. Thank you, Saint. <laughs> Saint 69. <laughs> 
Oh my god, some people have the best things. <laughs> oh, imagine them. I, I wonder if, like, you know, with like K6 and stuff, I wonder if they ever got to like 68, would they just skip? Would they just skip straight to 70, you know? Because otherwise, that guy, that guy's getting bullied or so. He's just going to get abused the whole time, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we'll get this guy though. No, we won't. Oh, no, get him. Thank you. Oh my god, I am so freaking dead. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, how am I alive? Okay, we out, we out, boys. Shotgun for the win, okay? Yep, I know it's not the target spike or anything, but I gotta do it. I got to do it. Where does this guy go? Hello? <laughs> dude was just chilling there thinking, yeah, you know what? I'll survive. And that's the dude to run away. He is probably mauling. But we're gonna rip this up because I can. Oh! Oh! Nate, oh, he's dead. He ain't dead. Oh, he is dead now. My god. What was I getting pulled by there? Get sucked off by some grenade. But I gotta say, the tiger spider it honestly feels really, really juicy. I would obviously admit, I know more of a kill clippy roll for a 6v6 anyway. I would like it a bit more, but I'm not gonna deny that this ain't a bad roll either now. We got Warp on this, so I can do this to him. Oh. Okay, he's out. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> SMGs up close. So yeah, you will obviously, with, as I said, the nerf to shotguns and stuff as well. You will have that case where wolf close 450s they're generally not going to do well 450s they're built more for range precision frames obviously but and that's why when you get to that range you're hitting them for 29 stuff it is really sweet and that's why when you get kill keep going with it as well it was a lot more i don't know i wouldn't say consistent but it was a lot more it was just a lot more usable like when you get kill keep going on one of these you could just absolutely just destroy someone's ass now Oh, bro, trying to freeze my ass. No, sir. No, sir. We got the melees in. We are stomping these. This is the weirdest game of my freaking life. But the thing about it is, even though we are stomping and stuff like that, this weapon isn't really built for the old uh, PvP, I don't think. I think more so. Like, don't get me wrong. This will do good PvP. And I think the older version with Kill Clip will do better. But I don't think this is a bad weapon either, PvP. I think it's decent. It's just rolls-wise... It seems like a lot of these reissued weapons, Bungie just built them toward uh, PvE. Like, a lot of these weapons, I would definitely say, roll-wise, oh, PvE, my god. Like, Overflow Swashbuckler? Man alive, is that a freaking good one. Overflow Demolitionist, even. There is a lot of insanely good PvE uh, perk uh, bonuses or rolls you get in this thing, which I would say would be probably be better. Now, this guy is just balls deep in our spot and nearly killed me. Why is it? How is this guy here, boys? What are we doing, huh? But yeah, rolls wise definitely PvE. This thing, it just it just seems like Bungie were just going for it. But you can see, if you are accurate with it, you will shred. You just gotta hope to God that oh oh you ran out, you ran out, bro. You just gotta freeze me twice. Why? <laughs> Give me the dignity to kill me with the first blast. Don't freeze me twice and just annoy me, huh? Oh, but that is the mercy roll and everything. But you can see it is gonna be decent. It's just that uh, when it comes to it's PvP, as I said, rolls wise it doesn't really have the rolls for it. So. I would say if you're going to use one, you'd use your old one if it was 6v6, whatever. But what I will say, when it comes to PvE, this is going to be dope. We'll do some PvE with it as well. I just think overall, Bungie, when they're bringing these weapons back, that's the reason they took a lot of the perks away. They probably wanted to be more useful uh, PvE. But 25 opponents defeated, 4.17. All right, all right, all right. Time for the, some PvE. And it has been a while since I've gone into some Gambit. You know what? I, uh, I still don't really want to be here. But you know what I'm saying? We're going to go in with our target spike to PvE, as I said. Rolls-wise, it's probably built more towards it but even this roll i only have the one roll by the way i don't even have any sunset versions because i i just deleted them i think ages ago i don't know why they probably just got dismantled in my vault but as i said pve this is where it's gonna be really sweet when you get like obviously with the abyss assassin as well you got bullets for days go go for subsistence too you also got um other perks in terms of overflow which honestly i think pve overflow is one of the goaded perks in the game but yeah, when it comes to PvE, it's 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 where it's gonna be like more useful. And this thing died. Thank you. Just based off rolls, and as I said, Bungie were one hundred percent when they were making these like come back and stuff. They were looking at the rolls. They were like, you know what? Let's make it somewhat decent PvP, but let's just make this hell of a lot better in PvE. And I think that sort of has worked with it because, in generally speaking, I know a lot of people. Oh my god, this thing better not kill me. I know a lot of people though have actually started using this in PvE a little bit with the overflow and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, Tiger Spite, I, I, the Bungie, the 100% when they were making these weapons, they were like, yeah, let's make it somewhat decent PvP. Let's make a hell of a lot better PvE so people use that. Plasma Kinetic Auto Rifle, it's honestly a really sweet one. It's precision frame, so it's slow rate of fire. It's really like high damage and everything. I do understand though, I have done like videos on the Chrome Rush and stuff, which honestly, if I was gonna go PvE, is there a, I don't know where this thing is. But if I was gonna go PvE, I would 100% probably go for uh, more of the Chrome Rush. I think Chrome Rush is just a better weapon altogether. I think it's just, 
more consistent. That's better, kind of easier to farm, easier rolls, whatever. So I do get why people will go for that instead of this one over. Like, why would you grind out for this when you get Chrome Rush? But as I said, this got a lot going for it. It's got looks. It's got freaking damage. It's got a good feeling too, as far as kinetic goes. It feels kind of squishy. Oh, but that is the loss. I mean, what the hell? They just freaking lead their thing. Yep, this is Gambit, boys. They summon it, and within five seconds, it's dead. <laughs> was it a stack? It must have been. No, it wasn't. They just all freaking deleted it. But that's the Tiger Spy PvE. It is kind of fun. But I will say that it, as much as it could be really good with Overflow and stuff, Chrome Rush is there as well. The Chrome Rush is dope. Well, that is it for me and the Tiger Spy. I know it was kind of short, but that's just because, obviously, the yeah, PvP was very, very short-lived. And the Gamma game went by hella quick, too. But the Tiger Spy itself, is it worth grinding your ass off to get another roll of this? Maybe if you did like it before. If you really did like it, unless you liked it with the kill clip, because that's a rip. But if you did really like the Tiger Spy before, it's definitely worth picking it up. I think it's a really, really cool-looking weapon. has a really nice design with it. It takes a shade as well. Scope is dope on it. I will admit, though, that it is a shame that a lot of the... Uh, Juicy perk, about the juiciest perk with kill clip has gone on these and 450s with kill clip. If you think of your aerials and the number, those weapons were just insane back in the day. And the tiger spite was a kinetic version of them, and now it doesn't have kill clip, which is a real shame, especially because you can get things on like um the chrome rush, as I said, 720 RPM. I know, but that can just roll with some insane perks too, in terms of damage and everything. Tiger Spite is really good for long-range engagements and stuff. And even PvP, it can't shred. And if you get an overflow swashbuckler PvE, it's going to be insane. But I just think overall, it's it's quite grindy for what probably you could get out of a Chroma Rush. Even PvP-wise, Chroma Rush, I think, is just doing so well right now. It's just a 720 RPM, so it handles really well up close. And at range, you're probably not really going to get away with this uh, auto rifle because pulse rifles, 140s are starting to map again. It's just generally speaking, it's just in a bad place right now. So even if it did have really good PvP rolls, I still think it would struggle in the current sandbox. That's the issue. And I think overall, it's it's a long grind. Don't get me wrong. Like this is the Dreaming City drop, so you gotta grind out, and it's completely random. At least with the moon weapons, I could be like, yeah, you can get this. It's only a couple of essences. It takes like 20 minutes for per bounty or whatever. You gotta get the essence, but this is just pure RNG. I got lucky enough to get one drop. So I will say that unless you have a real, real, like, I don't know, personal attachment to the Tiger Spite, I wouldn't say it's going to be godsend for you. It's definitely PvP. PvE, maybe, if you want an overflow roll or overflow swashbuckler. But then again, you're going for a god roll. So yeah, I will definitely say only grind for this if you have, like, a personal attachment for it. Don't waste your time really going in and be like, oh, I need to get a god roll of this because it's not going to be absolute god tier. It's not going to change much your play style, to be honest. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like. I'm gonna see more content. Subscribe for Plastic Day, and hopefully, I'll see you the next collective. The next one.